is Courtney. Welcome back to my channel and I hope you are doing so very well. Today is a unusual one for my channel. Um, I got a beautiful box sent to me by the lovely people over at Ranger. It is a PR box and they contacted me via Instagram and said would you like to receive one. I have been using Ranger products for almost 10 years now so I jumped at the chance to say yes. Uh, there will be a play with whatever is inside this tissue paper bundle uh, up on my channel in the coming week. Um, so stay tuned for that but they did say that they love to see unboxings and I thought it'd be nice to show you what sort of things came in a PR package from a big craft company like Ranger and I already see that it looks like it's stuff from the lovely Diane I have uh, taken a workshop with Diane she was lovely and she is so cool when it comes to collage and I do love her quirky weird take on things so it was wonderful to see her logo on the package I am going to keep the sticker for my journal because we all know I love a good piece of ephemera and my Hobonichi definitely needs all the ephemera it can get. Uh, so I'm going to keep this to the side and then I'm going to open up like this just to make it a little bit easier to see and I might actually move all the tissue paper just so that I'm not fighting the black and you can see the pink which is very much my style. Now there seems to be quite a number of things in here so let's get started. Um, this as I am led to believe is stuff from the new creativation range from Diane. Uh, so some of the, I don't own any of the stuff from the new range. I have a lot of Tim Holtz of things. I have a few little bits and bobs from the Diane range like the die cuts and stuff like that. And I have her beautiful book which I picked up at the workshop and I have like her paints and things like that. So I have quite an array, a different array of things from Ranger uh, in my stash that I use quite regularly including my distress stains which you guys know are my fave and I use them all the time. So it looks like there are some stamps here, three sets of stamps. These look like they're part of her dialogue range, which I know is part of her like planner range. Um, and these are very cool. I'm always looking for numbers. I collect numbers and alphabets for my own journaling. Uh, so it's always nice to have extra fonts. I do have her months and I think her days of the week in the larger format. I did buy those. And it looks like she's done them in smaller format, which is fabulous because these are great for those smaller journals. I have used her big ones every now and again, but more is feature stuff in like my journal pages um so the nice smaller ones would be great for where is my weekly spreads where i only have a small amount of room and so smaller days of the week are always fabulous i'm lettering impaired i'm not great at lettering i do not like my handwriting so i'm always getting people to letter for me um or using or buying stamps accordingly so these will be much loved i do like these cool boxes and frames i love these types of things and they also make really cool backgrounds if they are repeated over and over again so they will come in handy in the video for sure. And this looks like part of the dialogue range as well. So these look very much like the Traveler's Notebook style, which of course I love and adore. The um, whole concept behind that, I have lots of Traveler's Notebook type things from all different companies. Um, and so this one is a dots one, so it looks like a dot grid, and this one looks like it's background. So I'm going to pause here and open this one up so I can give you a look inside the background one because I'm a bit, you know, intrigued. Ooh. Right, so as you can see, I've unboxed it or unwrapped it, I should say. It has a beautiful stitch binding, which I love when inserts are stitch bound. They're a lot more sturdier that way. And if, uh, like me, you seem to throw everything you have at a notebook, it's nice to know that it's going to hold up as much as possible. And it seems like this is very thick cardstock, very comparable to the ones that are in her beautiful big art journals. And I have a couple of those as well. So these are like backgrounds that you could turn into things. You can work over them. They're a good starting off point, especially if you are scared of the blank page. These are nice and bright and colorful. And they're very nondescript, which means you can take them to any which way that you want. I could see me definitely turning this into a collage book and using this as like a jumping off spread. And they are very cool and bright. So it looks like there's doubles of those. 
but very, very cool indeed. I'd also very much consider pulling this apart and using this for collage, uh, but because the pages are so thick, I'd also be intended to use these as tip-ins because I'm always looking at things on how I can turn something into a tip-in. So they are very, very cool. So I have to decide whether I want to rip it apart and turn it into, and into a tip-in or whether I want to dedicate this as a collage book considering that I am looking at doing the uh, regular size after I finish my B6 so it would definitely fit in a regular size TN. So there is some ideas bubbling away in my head and this one just seems to be a nice dot grid. I will double check to see if the paper is as thick as this so give me two seconds while I unwrap it. So <laughs> it is still thick but I feel like this may be thicker. Oh, maybe I'm wrong. Maybe I have the same thickness. This doesn't actually mention if it is just says accepts a variety of mediums. 24 pages. It doesn't actually say the weight or anything on this, but I feel like the um, this would be really cool if you just wanted a sketchbook because it's got the dot grid to help you there and it's really light, lovely cream paper, still a really cool insert. And sometimes um, those bullet journals and stuff like that are quite thin so a lot of mediums just bleed through it, especially if you're like me and just want to put everything and anything into these inserts. I think they're very, very cool indeed. So there's those. This is also from the Dialogue range and these are some stencils and you can see there are four different designs up there. I'm not going to open this one just yet and it folds up and looks like it will fit into that range as well. So that's really cool. I'd also be tempted to chop that up and just use them. As these well. are the bigger back chat labels and I've seen the smaller version so I'm assuming that they are in larger size. Again, these aren't something I would be using on their own. I'd probably cut them them up and change them to create sort of poetry or something like that which may be something that I do and play with maybe thinking about making poetry tip-ins we'll see we'll see but they are very cool black and white so they'll go with an arrangement and assortment of things and there are eight sets uh, eight four by six pages in here so there's lots of bang for your buck which will be cool to play with again from the dialogue range this is like an insert pouch so you can see here on the back that she's got bits and pieces and it'd be a great place to put your collage ephemera in. So I'm always collecting these from different companies and they are fabulous and so good to hold all those bits that we hoard, including the ephemera that we grab and I have piled up all around me. Being a collage artist, I'm always looking for pockets and things to put inside my covers and journals. So these are very much needed. And this looks like a DIY dialogue cover. So it will be for all this sort of stuff to go into. It's a little bit wider than a normal standard. As you can see, what I might do is I might pull it out and show you the difference. Or you can just see it there actually. There's quite a bit of gap. And I guess that's because if you want to chunk up your notebooks, like we are all very known to do, uh, this will accommodate it. 5.87 inches by 8.75 very very cool and I would be probably painting that up and giving it a good cover up job because I think that's what they're for I do know that she has them with her own artwork as well on them I just happen to get a DIY version and also a beautiful pouch that looks very very cool i know leanne from creatively free to be me loves this print and has a very beloved pen case in a different style and it is really nice quality it's almost like a it it is a canvas pouch almost like no it actually is and i love how bright and cool it is i love fabric pouches i love the, the way that the supplies move on the inside of these so that is really cool and i did notice that leanne said that it had a wipeable fabric on the inside this being my first one of hers i hadn't actually felt or seen so that is very cool and a nice large size to accommodate a lot of supplies because uh, I know I have a lot and I like to think that I'm a minimalist but I'm 
really, really not. I'm a hoarder at heart. Two more things to play with in the PR box, and this is very, very cool, and I'm very intimidated by it, but also super excited about it. This is a obviously one of the beautiful journals. I have quite a few in my stash, but I do not own a black one, and this looks like it'll be so much fun. A little gel pen. I can see a lot of collage going on this. I am really intrigued at how I'm going to use this or try and use this, uh, but we'll have to wait and see. Black is very opposite to what I do, but I think lots of the bright colors that I use will stand out and pop against the black background. So I don't know if I'll use that in my process video because like I said, I'm a little bit intimidated by it, but I'm also excited to have a play. So we'll see what I do with that when, I, when the time comes. Sorry, a little bit tongue tired here. And the silhouette stencils and masks. These look very, very cool. So you have a mask there and you can see that people have done like cutouts and things like that. So this must be a new version. And this has two very cute people standing with the hands on their hips. And I love the sort of curvy hair. I could almost make a self portrait out of this. My hair is very short at the moment and all I need to do is give her a crop fringe and bright pink hair and I could possibly do a self portrait. I may very well do that in the process video. You never know, you never know how I will use these things. But like I said, stay tuned in the coming week um, and I will have a process video using some of the things, as many of them as I possibly can in my um, video for you guys. And I want to say thank you to Ranger for reaching out to me and giving me the opportunity to play with some of the new stuff. Being an Aussie, we get the stuff a lot later than everyone else. Uh, so it's really nice to have a play with some of these items. And Diane is one of my favorite collage artists. So it's nice to get something from her range. So thank you so much for joining me. If you have any questions, leave them down below. I'll try and answer them as best as I can. What would you do with some of these things? And do you have any suggestions? of what you'd like me to do so that's always nice to see what you think I'm gonna do what you'd like to see me do it may also influence what I actually do you never know have a wonderful day guys and I'll see you again soon bye